Hi, welcome back to EducateTube.com. My name is Sipski, your host. Recently, I purchased this variable DC bench power supply device. It cost me around $80, but the first thing I did was actually calibrate it, as you can see here, and I'll tell you why I did it and making it more useful for what I'm doing. Let's talk about it right now. All right, so here it is. This is the 300 watt system. It's a uh, 30 volt, 10 amp DC bench power supply device. It's pretty compact actually. Now, when you first get it, you get these two knobs. Now, it depends on the model. The one I got was two knobs, one to control the voltage, the other one to control the current. There's a power button, and there's also USP, which I'm not gonna use. As much because it's not powerful enough however what I bought this device for was to pretty much charge my lithium iron phosphate batteries and my li other lithium batteries now the first thing that I did for this device was I calibrated it and the reason for that is as you can see uh, the knobs itself uh, you cannot change both at the same time so the first knob is the voltage now you can adjust that one but you can't really adjust the current uh, at the same time. So what I did was I actually adjust the voltage knob and then label it. As you can see here, I know it looks kind of messy here, but I have a little tick here to represent each voltage of inc increment. For example, I even create a table here as you can see. And for example, uh, the first encounter is 3.2 volt, right? And the reason for that is my uh, lithium iron phosphor battery is nominal uh, charge is 3.2 volts. So I set it that as my first uh, location. I put, a, I put a tick there and then 3.4, 3.6. So around 3.6 voltage is where I want to maximize my lithium iron phosphate batteries. Okay, so after the third tick, I will set it that. Okay, and then it's 4.2, which is for my lithium ion battery. 6.4, 6.8, 7.4, and then finally 8.4, which is meant for if you, you connect uh, two lithium ion batteries, so 4.2 times two is 8.4. So I can create a series for lithium ion. Now for the lithium phosphate, I would then set it to around uh, you know 7.2, okay? So between 6.8 to 7.2. And each of these marking, right, these, indicator will have a tick on it and so when I turn it to each tick I would know exactly what voltage it might be. Now if I turn it twice, okay, the second round then it will be 8.7, 8.9, 9.2 and so on all the way to 13.8 which is perfect for my lithium iron phosphate when it's connected in a series of four cells. So that would be the optimal charging for four cells of 13.8 voltage and so that's set up and then for my current down here okay I also set a knob here now the difference between the first knob for the voltage is that you can actually keep uh, rotating it and uh, it will increase in voltage up to 30 volt so make sure that you know you do one turn and then the second turn because you don't want to go beyond your voltage that the battery can handle. Okay, so my device here is meant to charge lithium phosphate ion and lithium ion batteries. For the current, however, you can only do almost one turn and I also um, calibrate that as well. So I have a tick for 0 0.4, 1 amp, 2 amp, 3 amp, 4 amp, all the way to 10 amp. As you can see here, I label it as well and I put a tick for each of that marking. So uh, from 0 to 0 0.4 amp, I have a tick then one amp I have tick, and then two amp I have another tick, as you can see here in the knob, and I labeled it. And so now I'm able to control the current and the voltage, knowing exactly how much I need to uh, adjust. For example, if I want to charge my battery uh, 4.2 volt lithium ion, I'll uh, bring my knob to 4.2 right here. And then for the current, let's say I want three amp, I can just move it to three amp. So I, did mar I put a marking there. And so I know exactly how much current and voltage is going in. And of course, the system will calculate for me how much watt hour that is. Okay, so now I wouldn't rely on this one too much. 
and because it's actually quite simple just multiply voltage with the amp and you get the wattage but I just want to make sure that I can control the voltage and the ampage so that's what I did here for device like this the current is a little bit strange how you want to calibrate it you have to look at your manual but this instrument here if you want to calibrate your current you basically take the positive negative terminal and you short it right but make sure that you set the voltage under 5 volt and then what you do is once you set let's say I set it to 4 volt I clip the two positive ne negative terminal okay so I set it to let's say 3 volt okay so I have a marking for 3 volt and now it's saying 3.65 okay so I know it's around uh, 3. Point, around 3 to 4 volts so it's right now set to 3.65 and I have a marking showing that this is 3.6 or 3.65 and then what I do is I would then short this taking the positive negative terminal okay now it's reading my amperage is reading 0.683 so what I did was uh, starting from 0 then I'll increase it to 0 0.4 0 0.4 amperage and I put a marking there and I put a 1 then a 2 then a 3 and I keep putting mark all the way to 10 amp and now I calibrated the current so from a 0 0.4 all the way to 10 amp so this knob now is basically calibrated as well as the voltage up here so now this instrument is very useful because now I can control the voltage and the amperage and that's how you would control the amperage on this instrument now it may vary from instrument to instrument but for this instrument from uh, this particular company this is a nice power uh, device this is a company brand and so this is how I would calibrate it based on their uh, manual that they told me to you know short it and then set it to below 5 volt and then increase the amperage and then I would mark them okay mark the knob and then now it is calibrated instrument as you can see I even label it here to uh, have reference right so I know exactly when I uh, go to different ticks I know what voltage and amperage it will be so making this instrument very useful so now I can charge my lithium ion phosphate battery as you can see here I have a three cell system this can be charged all the way up to 10.45 or 10.55 volt that's the range that I want to uh, set to and then um, is able to then be able to charge my smartphone as you can see here I'm doing right now charging my smartphone and then for this one here I um, hook it up four cell and then I I would set it to around 13.6 to 13.8 volt and so I can charge it with this device. So I'll set it to 13.6 to 13.8. Let me show you now. I'll set this, I'll turn this one time and then second time around. Okay, I see that there's a 10.45 after the second turn and go all the way to 13.8. Okay, let's, there we go, 13.8. Okay, so I set it to 13.8 volt. And then here, I can set the amperage to 3 amp okay so I have a knob here that uh, has a tick at 3 amp so now it's set 13.8 okay and it's 3 amp then what I do is I would hook up to my battery in this case I have a lithium phosphate ion battery so positive terminal here and a negative terminal here and now it's charging my lithium iron phosphate battery and let me see what my voltmeter is saying let's switch it around so there we go it's now saying it's 13.46 right so I'll, I'll wait until it reaches 13.8 um, then I'll stop charging but that's how I would now charge my lithium iron phosphate even though some of them are you know four cells I can even charge a three cell I can charge a two cells or even one cell and with this type of instrument I can precisely set it to the voltage I want and the amperage that I want. Okay? Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe and give me a little heart of appreciation. Bye.